good morning this is day 78 and yeah i think it's time to introduce some of the friends that i've been hiking with so there's eeyore hi and jasper Hello. <laughs> and then uh, nasa has also been part of the crew but he's he had a zero when we didn't so he's a little bit behind but i'm sure he will catch up and yeah last night was a pretty good night we had a really nice tent or campsite close to a meadow under some trees and it was really peaceful and today we're gonna try to do a long-ish day and then get closer to this place called Devil's Backbone Brewery or brew house or something like that and we'd like to visit that tomorrow and then hopefully by the next day get to why well, don't I ever remember the town Waynesboro. Waynesboro. Yeah. No, yeah, that one. <laughs> so let's see what kind of day it's. It's probably going to be a hot day. It's already very hot and it's only around eight o'clock. So yeah, let's get the day started. <laughs> You're already in there. The new shoes feel really good. I'm so happy I have them. It feels like I have cushioning under my feet again, <laughs> which is a great feeling. But also, I have just the regular insoles in them now that they came with. But I've heard a lot of good things about um, super feet insoles. So I feel like as soon as I have a chance, I'm gonna buy one of those. Because I know that my feet need um, support especially on the arches so i'm hoping that the super fits will be able to provide that but yay yay for new shoes that's funny yeah taking a blue blaze to Spy Rock, which is supposed to be a nice view. Oh, that's a big rock right there. Let's look at some views. That was a steep climb. <laughs> and I scared those two birds that I just filmed. They were at the top here. Sorry birds. But wow, nice views. 360. Awesome. Just a little puddle and there's Tadpoles swimming in it. Oh, poor babies, your house is not very big. <laughs> but it's got some cool views. Wow. Hello. So, I promised to answer another question that I got on the YouTube comments. Okay, so the question was about the challenges that I faced in these last two months and if there has been challenges that I've like overcome and think they won't come back anymore or challenges that I still keep facing I guess and um, well in the beginning it was challenge just to get used to the elevation and climbing up and down the mountains with the pack the heavy pack because that was something that I couldn't really practice for at home and I mean, it's still hard, but I'm a lot better at it now. And then, so I feel like that's a challenge that I've kind of don't have that much anymore. I'm not saying it's easy to climb these mountains, but it's not as hard as it was, as it was in the beginning. And then another challenge that I've had and kind of keep having is eating. 
but especially in the beginning I was having a lot of trouble I just wasn't hungry at all I had to force myself to eat and even now most of the bars and backpacking food is not my favorite and it's kind of boring and I don't I like especially breakfasts I don't really enjoy and it's not often that I'm like oh yay I get to eat it's more like well I guess I have to eat because I'm hungry and I have to get calories but I try to come up with something new every once in a while to get some variation and of course it's great to get to towns to have town food then every once in a while uh, then another challenge uh, has been the heat and the humidity, especially the combination of those two. But that was also a challenge that I had more in the beginning when it first started to get hot. And I feel like I'm kind of uh, gotten used to it. I mean, I still, it's still hard. And definitely on the hot and humid days, I feel like I'm more slow and it takes more of my energy, but it's not as bad as it was in the beginning. Um, yeah, and then sometimes I, uh, sleeping is a bit of a struggle. I think that I sleep well, but then, because my watch always records my sleep, then according to my watch I have slept really poorly, have not recovered almost at all, and I don't know why sometimes that happens and when one, sometimes it doesn't. Like now for the last three days or nights, I have slept really well and my sleep quality has been really good and but before that I had about four nights where I slept really badly and I'm not I don't even even now I don't know why what contributes to it but yeah so sleep is sometimes a struggle even though you might think that when you exercise all day you'd be so tired you know you're in a fresh air you would be so tired at the end of the day that you would just sleep really well but at least I don't always <laughs> but sometimes I do so I guess it evens out or levels out or whatever the expression is and what else I don't know I haven't really uh, struggled with being lonely because I've had so many people around me I've made a lot of friends I've been hiking with people so that hasn't been a problem or a challenge for me. Yeah, um, if I'll think of something else, I will let you know. So we just got some trail magic. It was actually <clears throat> this couple in a camper van that we met yesterday as well and got cold drinks and snacks from them yesterday and today as well. So that was so nice. And now there's a big climb, big-ish climb up to the Priest Mountain. And the shelter, which has the logbook, it's kind of interesting because they use the priest shelter logbook kind of as a confess your trail sins thing. <laughs> so that was, that's going to be interesting to read people's trail sins that they have confessed. But yeah, first I have to climb up a mile. Okay, so we just stopped at the priest shelter and went to see the Privy that had gotten a lot of good reviews. <laughs> it's it's uh, new as of last year and it's very fancy and nice. And then we also read some of the confessed sins on the logbook and some of them were hilarious and some of them were a little bit horrifying <laughs> and everything in between. So that was a very interesting I don't know, maybe we spent maybe an hour there or something like that. But yeah, very entertaining. And now we're hiking on, a couple more miles at least, 
to a campsite for the night. Hi, this is Future Firefox here. I'm editing videos and I just wanted to let you know that for the next two or three weeks, um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be three weeks, I will only be uploading six videos a week instead of the regular seven, kind of like I did in the very beginning. Uh, the reason is, well, first of all, in the past I've had to combine a couple of days together, so that kind of shortened the buffer that I had. And another reason is that because I've had some problems with uploading my videos lately, um, I feel like it will be easier on me to know that I have enough of a buffer on my videos. So even if I won't be able to upload them for a while, I still won't like run out of time. Uh, I know that I'll have videos ready to, um, to be scheduled. So that will be easier on me. And also just um, to make sure that it won't happen so that one day there just won't be a new video coming out all of a sudden. So yeah. So for those reasons, for the next, say, three weeks, there will only be six videos a week instead of the seven. And then after that, if nothing else weird happens, it'll be back to the normal one video every day of the week. And I'm sorry, I know you've um, gotten used to getting a video every day of the week, but yeah, that's just something that I have to do at this moment.